After seeing how easy and fun it is to take random scraps of evidence and spin them into ridiculous conspiracy theories, we decided to try it ourselves, because why the fuck not? A few weeks ago, I sat down with a cup of chamomile tea and an assortment of cyanide tablets, and I watched <laughs> all 99 minutes of Donald Trump's deposition on one of the many lawsuits filed against him. And as I watched, I noticed a pattern. Section 23D. Okay. Okay, got it. Yeah. Uh, you did not review this section what of the lease. Say? Monetary damages. These, this is the, in the remedies section. I did not, no. I mean, do you want me to read it? Uh, it's, not a, it's long. It is long. It's very long. It is long. I don't have my glasses. I mean, I, I am at a disadvantage because I didn't bring my glasses. This is such a long writing. It's you know what we can do? We can have a bigger copy made of these pages. Let me try. Let me just do it. it. Would you be able to read this section and tell us what your understanding of it is? Objection. <laughs> Mr. Trump isn't a lawyer. Objection! How can you expect someone who isn't a fancy pants lawyer to read words? Now, at first, I thought Trump was lying, but then it hit me. Thanks to the time I've wasted watching very special episodes of TV shows over the years, I could draw only one conclusion. What's the matter with you? Can't you read? What's the matter with you? Can't you read? You expect me to believe you didn't read it? I, I read parts of it, okay? You couldn't read it. That's it, isn't it? Oh, my God! <laughs> Donald Trump is just like Jared Leto. Well, maybe more like the current version of Jared Leto. You heard it here first. People are saying Donald Trump can't read. Specifically, people on my research staff. Now, before you accuse us of being a silly late-night comedy show making cheap jokes about a presidential candidate allegedly being illiterate, which we definitely are, we have evidence, so much evidence, the best evidence. <laughs> Exhibit A, Trump's own words. Favorite book, other than the Bible or the art of the deal? Um, all Quiet on the Western Front. You ask him as he's, as he's leaving the interview and going to bed, what are you reading? What was that? And what did he say? He kind of had that look. Oh, yeah. You got me. Um, and then he tried to answer, and he said he's reading this, this book by, that Ed Klein wrote, A Hatchet Job on Hillary Clinton, yeah. of course, which I'm sure he's not reading. Then there was a book about Nixon, which he couldn't remember exactly. But then he said, all quiet on the Western Front. Those two interviews were a month apart, and in that whole month, not only did he not read a book, he didn't even read a book title to tell reporters about. Not convinced yet? I give you Exhibit B. Hearsay. My dad had a meeting with him many years ago. We were in the same business. We would never deal with him. Forget it. No way. But my dad said about Trump after the meeting, he meeting Trump has not read a book in 20 years. So the average American has not read a book in the last year either. Two things, the last year and the last 20 years are two very different things. If that 19-year difference were a person, she'd be way too old for Donald Trump to talk about wanting to date someday. The signs that Trump can't read have been in front of us all along. In some cases, the signs have literally been right there in front of us. But how does he tweet if he can't read? Do you actually sit there type, or do you say something and somebody else types? During the day, I'm in the office. I just shouted out to one of the young ladies who are tremendous. I have a tremendous office staff, and uh, Meredith, and some of the people that work for me, and I'll just shout it out. Oh, to be a fly on the wall when Trump yells, hey, Meredith, do me a favor and tweet that Audrey Hepburn was a fat, ugly cunt. Pronto. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. That's crazy. Trump can't be illiterate. The man must have signed his name on countless contracts, bankruptcy filings, prenups, and mail-order bride forms over the years. <laughs> and does this look like the signature of a man who can't read? <laughs> but think about it. When Trump is on the campaign trail, what's his biggest enemy? I mean, besides knowledge, integrity, and basic human decency? I don't use teleprompters. You know what I use? I don't use teleprompters. I don't believe in teleprompters. Maybe when you run for president, you shouldn't be allowed to use a teleprompter. Because you don't even know the guy's smart. He's reading. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. 
This is wonderful. Speed that teleprompter up. Ba -ba -ba -ba. De -de 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 -de. They have teleprompters. I say we should outlaw teleprompters for anybody, right? That's a first, attacking the teleprompter there, because he said it wasn't working properly. Yeah, the teleprompter wasn't working properly. It had all these weird lines and crazy symbols on it. <laughs> then there was that telling moment in the last debate. And during the ceasefire, Russia took over vast swatches of land. Swatches of land? Okay, nobody has ever said that except someone trying to sound out the words on the debate prep he was handed and fucking it up. I wonder what else Donald has misread. But perhaps the most <laughs> damning piece of evidence is a study that says reading improves empathy. And Donald Trump once did this, which suggests he's never read a book in his life, or it seems a script. Okay, so he's like, he doesn't really know how to read, for real. Yeah, and he loves to improv. Yeah. So during like the table read, he would go, uh, I'm not going to say this. I think I'm going to say it the way I want to say it. Is that okay? There was a, a sketch that we wrote where he's at Disneyland with his daughter, and the line is, uh, all right, let's get out of here. Turkey legs? Like, let's like go get turkey sure. legs? And he doesn't know how to read. So he went, all right, let's get out of here, turkey legs. <laughs> <laughs> he called his daughter turkey, turkey legs. Don't laugh at him. Illiteracy is sad. I, for one, am impressed that even with his alleged disability and with just a multi-million dollar loan from his father, Donald Trump was able to become one of the richest people in the country. Some of the richest people in this country are people that can't even read or write. They're called... Friends of mine, contractors. <laughs> they might not read or write, but they're a lot smarter than the guys coming out of Harvard, I want to tell you. Oh, you have a friend who can't read? <laughs> Do you also have a friend who's embarrassed by his tiny hands? Tell your friend not to get discouraged and to just do his best like you did during your deposition. Did you ever read this section of the lease no. on the security deposit guarantee letter of credit? No, I didn't. Wrong. I just don't know what the lease says. I just don't. It's a very big lease. I, I don't know what the lease says. Yeah. I don't know what Objection the lease says. calls for legal opinion. Mm -hmm. also calls for speculation. Mm -hmm. I just don't know what the lease says. Mm -hmm. but if know, it... Once you have a lease, you know, when you have a lease, you have a lease. And uh, I, I just don't know what the lease says as to that. Oh, my God, Donald, just listen to the lease on Audible. Now, <laughs> look, we are not definitively saying that Donald Trump cannot read. We're just asking the question. Trump knows all about asking questions. Do you believe he probably well, was born in America? Uh, no. I say he might have been. And we believe you might can read. <laughs> Mr. Trump, you can very easily clear up these questions. All you have to do is provide a video of yourself reading Barack Obama's long-form birth certificate out loud, and we'll be satisfied that we ended a terrible rumor that Hillary Clinton and Sidney Blumenthal started. Shame on them. We'll be right back.